What are you praying for that you've been praying for for a long time? Remember Isaac prayed 20 years. God called Abraham when he was 75. And uh, he got his child when he was 100. How many years of praying was that? 25. 25. We do not know why God deals with individuals the way he does. But if God can have Abraham, now God could have answered his prayer earlier. Are you with me? But he messed up with her, what's the lady's name? Hagar, at the recommendation of Sister Sarah. When you pray to God, don't try to answer the prayer for God. Ah, you missed it, you missed it. Let me say it differently. Don't do what God is alone qualified to do. You do what you're qualified to do, which is pray, trust, study, obey, be patient, believe, live an upright life. That's my part. God's part is, I want to answer his prayer, but if I answer it now, it won't benefit him as much as if I wait six more weeks. When he has come to the right place in his life. If I give a million rand now, he leave the church. So let me wait five more years until he has grown in grace by studying the word and teaching a Sabbath school class and he has grown, then he can handle a million rand. Are you listening to me? God knows what he is doing. You've been praying for a husband and God sees you can't cook. Let me wait until she learns to cook. Then I've got a man ready. I've got him ready. I've got him ready. He, he's where he's nice. He's, he's everything. I've got him, says God. But I'm waiting for her. So that when they come together, they match like an enzyme on the receptor site for you, Santa. Are you with me? And so I urge you from my heart. Don't give up praying. Look at what you're praying about again and submit it to God. Father, through your word, instruct me. Is this your will? Because God has been known to answer prayers that are not his will. Simply because someone was hard-headed and determined and prayed contrary to evidence that this is not what God wants for you. Go, okay, okay, here it is. Then the person suffers. Then the person wishes I had never prayed for this thing. So by constantly staying in the Word of God, the powerful, Spirit-filled, divine, living Word of God will in its own way instruct you what to pray for and what not to pray for.